So you take a solution of a known concentration, you pour in more water. Well, what happens? Well, you've diluted it, right? So you've diluted that solution, so you've changed the concentration by changing the volume. What you haven't changed is the number of moles of solute that's in there, right? The number of moles of solute is the same, you just added some more water. So the number of moles, and by the way, N in chemistry stands for number of moles, because M stands for mass, so N is n moles. So the number of moles initially that you have, after dilution, you're still going to have the number of moles the same in the end, finally. Hey, what does that mean? Well, look, if you multiply moles per liter times liters, that gives you moles. So just a little bit of a rearrangement of a formula, N is also C times V. So the formula for dilution is the concentration initially times the volume initially equals the concentration finally times the volume finally. I think that's a legit formula because, after all, it's got about four variables in it. Three variable formulas are bleh. But this one, that's a pretty good one to know. Hey, so now, now oh, by the way, some people i will say, but Ken guy, I just put C1V1 equals C2V2. Yeah, I know. And then you actually, some people use that later for stoichiometry purposes. And you know what? You're going to find out you're going to make some really crucial errors with that. So I know it sounds funny, but trust me right now, CIVI equals CFVF. That's a better way to write that formula. You'll see. Now, all right, so here's a question. You take a concentration, a solution with a concentration of 0.1 moles per liter, and you dilute it to, uh, oh, okay, let's try that again. Okay, so here's a question. Calculate the volume of a 0.1 mole per liter solution from a 200 milliliter that's made from a 200. Okay, so now here's a question. You have a solution that's 0.3 moles per liter at 200 mils and you dilute it to 0.1 moles per liter. So you read the question, calculate the volume of a 0.1 mole per liter solution made from 200 milliliters of 0.3 mole per liter, liter nickel 2 chloride. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, you use the formula, you rearrange, and then you solve. Now, Oh, right, it's not. Okay, so here's a dilution question. Calculate the volume of a 0.10 mole per liter solution made from 200 milliliters of 0.30 mole per liter. In this case, nickel 2 chloride could be anything. All right, so how do you do that? You recognize you got three terms in here, and you're looking for a fourth one in a solution question. That's a dilution question. And look at it logically. Even if it doesn't say the word dilute in here, you're going to be looking at, well, you're going from a certain volume and concentration to a new concentration. What's the volume? There's your formula right there. You know how I like to do this? I like to go CIVI equals CFVF. This is good. This is good procedure for being able to express your answer properly. You write down the formula. You isolate the variable that you're looking for. In this case, we're looking for which volume? Calculate the volume of this, but it's made from these two. So that means these two are the initials here. This is the final concentration. You're looking for the final volume. What do you do to be able to find and solve for VF here? You've got to divide both sides by concentration final. So if you divide this side by CF, VF is isolated. And the formula is CIVI over CF, right? So you write the formula, you manipulate the formula, and now, on the same line, just plug in the number. So your initial concentration is 0.30 moles per liter, and your initial volume is 200 mils. Now you're going to say, Ken guy, Ken guy, wait, you've got moles per liter, and then you've got liters. And by the way, you never use big M in any kind of stoichiometry cancellation, right? You always go moles over liters, moles per liter. But in this case, in a dilution formula, what happens is, even though that's in liters and that's in milliliters, hey, 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 guess what? You're dividing here by a concentration final of 0.10 moles per liter. The big M's cancel, and you're going to be left with milliliters. That's all. So don't freak out. It's okay. As long as your units are consistent here, you'll be all right. So, of course, if that was in uh, liters, the answer is going to be in liters. You understand that. So, when you multiply those two and divide by that, you get 600 milliliters and you know what now I know this sounds funny but that is the answer and of course that makes sense doesn't it because if you're going to dilute this solution to th this from this to this you're going to have to add water how much are you going to add 
you're going to add 400 milliliters of water to finally end up with a 600 milliliter solution. Be careful, your teacher might ask you that. They might not ask what's the final volume, they might ask how much water is added. Be careful. Hey, but this has two significant digits here and here, so you've got to keep two. So the answer really, of course, is 6.0 times 10 to the, and you're going to move that decimal place how many times? You're going to move it once, twice, squared, and that's going to be liters, right? Or it's going to be zero decimal, six zero liters, if you wanted to write that by moving this three times over and writing zero decimal two zero zero liters in for that volume there. Okay, so that's how you do a dilution question.